Hello everyone, this is Kevin from React to the K, and I am a pianist from Classical Musicians React. Hi everyone, my name is Umu, and I'm React to the K's channel creator. Welcome to our signature... Ah... Uh, Adi... Song. Adi song. This is their first time reacting to them on the channel, but I have checked out all of their past releases, and... No, no, na, 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 is possibly one of my favorites, if not my favorite, debut from 2020. And when it came out, I think I was just really overwhelmed with schoolwork or with the COVID thing. I can't remember when it came, but... Sometimes I'm just not in the right mental state to appear in front of the camera and react to things, but I absolutely loved that release, um, or at least upon re-listens, maybe I didn't like a first listen, I don't know. I know I might have heard their song Nuna Na Na, but I can't quite remember it. You know what, let's, let's do a five second flash reaction to that. Woo! I dig this. Okay, great, great. Yeah, so that's their sound, but clearly in that MV, they weren't going for a school, schoolgirl vibe, so I'm excited to see what this song has. In contrast to that, let's go. Three, two, one. Adi song. Ba 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 ba. The day of pops out. Oh. oh wow, nice. I hope that's part of the original song. That's cute. If I'm going to school, this would me give me the energy that I need. <laughs> That low ass bass and scratchy synth. The melodies are very different. A little house, a little house going on. We got some house in this house. Oh! Is this PC music? This sounds like PC music. Two, three, four, one. I love that being a part of the melody. What? Why are we starting Please with that? Please that comes chord. back for the bridge or something. I love the textural changes. It's just so fun. What the? Oh my god. I'm not wearing my glasses and I thought that was something other than hands. She's eating the peel. Oh, this is a PC music section, and I like it. Sounds like some, um, what is it, Easy Fun? Yeah, this sounds like an Easy Fun thing, or like Early Sophie. <gasps> what I love about them is they're just so confidently quirky, cute, and energetic. Like, unapologetic, completely. And comes so naturally to them. Hello, Synth. I like how overwhelming the screaming is. Like, it actually feels like screaming. Oh, God, distortion. Oh, nice, they didn't do the mmm this time. They went higher. What? You can't give us that beautiful harmonized acapella escort only two parts of the song and then leave us singing. Wait, does that go into the next song? What's the next song? Oh my god. Okay, wait. Let me just buy Ari's song really quick. Okay, it is bought. 
So it ends beautifully and then No! That doesn't transition into Delta Hair at all! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Kevin isn't saving his excitement for the zoom. I mean, same. <laughs> Honestly. It feels so fresh amongst other releases, like the trends that are happening nowadays, this song. I really, really love it. I'm gonna go and listen a second time and then we're gonna zoom Kevin. Three, two, one. I was gonna say I would love a pop song that takes that, this, you know, the chime melody and then develop it into like an actual pop song, but didn't realize it was actually part of the song. There's so many layers of different things. There's a synth that started getting louder and louder and louder. And then this is total vibe change because the groove changes, the bass comes in. And then in unison with the instruments. So it sounds like a really small transition section, but then it turns out to be the pre-chorus. That's so catchy. Oh, it kind of happens in the instrumental. The instrumental does a little pitch down. Oh, they use the same little instrumental to do do when they had the descending vocals. Oh, yeah! It's, it's so playful. Ah! Who did that thing? Oh, we have woo! 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 Little sin things. You can kind of hear the pop, pop, pop. The pop, pop of the pee. <laughs> oh, that time it went like. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Sliding synth that we have have had throughout the track in the bridge. Uh, this is awesome. This new ends to the bridge. And because it's a scale up, da da da, it's so satisfying when we go up. Oh my god, I love everything about that. I really like this. Let's let's discuss. I loved everything about that except one. I have one 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 thing. I want I want the beautiful coral thing that came in twice more. I wanted that to appear in the bridge so badly. I thought it was such a beautiful texture change that you wouldn't expect to see in this song and since we only had it like when we had it at the end I think of the first chorus I was like this would be a perfect you know calling to the bridge mm. and making that connection there like mm. I still love the bridge but I would have loved for that texture to appear a few more times I, I thought that little bit appeared just the right amount of times <laughs> it was of it was just there as a little filler it was just a little filler and, and I think so the fact that it's a little filler makes it even better mm. yeah because the song is about just insanity just no <laughs> not like the subject matter. it's about yeah like, being it's crazy, musical doing a lot it's of musical craziness it's, things it actually reminds me there's this pop label in the United States they might be UK I don't know but but there's this pop music label called PC music Mm -hmm. And they basically deconstruct pop, all the producers. They totally break it down and then they like create these super pop tracks 
It's really hard to explain, but they add like this crazy distortion and just lot and this song feels basically like maybe the finished PC's, product of PC Music's first sort of <sighs> foray into K-pop. There's uh-huh. a bit of PC music in this because the chorus is very house based. That bass, mm-hmm. the dun 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 dun, you know. But it's so devoted to that house while adding so many instrumentals on top. It feels like they're deliberately just kind of I don't know. They're taking things in a very deliberate way. That's very bold, mm-hmm. and that just reminds me of PC. I'll play you some PC music next time we. We see each other or something. Having this, you know, da, 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 and then it kind of bits and pieces sprinkled throughout the rest. Not only its actual synth sound, mm-hmm. but you know the ascent, and then also all the little like little slidey, buzzy synths just everywhere. It was just this was a carnival. Before I would say, oh, this song it has nice ear candy for musicians, but this was like a freaking carnival load of candy to me. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Colors Absolutely. everywhere, sounds everywhere, so much energy. I feel like I've been needing this type of track in, like, you know, just in 2020 so far, I've really desperately been needing this. Because I feel like the group Nature gave us that in 2019 with mm. their songs, I'm in love, in love, in love, in love, in love. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. that track and also the, the, but <laughs> now we have Seek you know? Nature. Sig in nature? Yeah. They're doing stuff that is so desperately needed, at least I want it to Mm -hmm. happen in the music industry, which is quirky, peppy, cute, um, unapologetically confident, youthful songs. And I think we're also going to get that with a new girl group weekly as well. They seem to bring that energy as well. So I'm just just happy to see the girl groups killing it. They're doing so good. And I absolutely love what Signature has released so far. Bravo girls and yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll run this through the, oh, the oh, oh, um, that we have. Mm-hmm. Um was it it must have been like the second half of the verse. There well no, it's the pre chorus. Mm-hmm. There's a part that sounds like the Super Smash theme, the new one. D da di da da di da da di da The first three notes are like Super Smash Ultimate right there. But then they change. So Is it the vocal melody? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I know now that I'm getting to know more and more K-pop producers, a lot of them are inspired by video game soundtracks. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Which is so fun. There's a smash section, um, <laughs> and then there's the little music box thing, which especially remind me of PC music. That's something that they would do. And then the screaming section was great. I like yes, how overwhelming it is. It's so overwhelming. Like, you know, you have screaming sections in songs, but I don't think they're mixed in, a, in this way where, like, they're actually, like, in in your face you know mm-hmm. and i really appreciated that i'm fueled with energy and i cannot wait to go and listen to this song yep. another 100 times yeah okay thanks so much for watching everyone bye, bye.